Today I really want to talk about uh, our root cellar system that we installed a few months ago, um, the air ventilation system for that, and just kind of go downstairs with the temperature gun and see how it's doing and talk about how it's been uh, performing for us. Today's a good day for that. It's Oh, it's up to one degree Fahrenheit. Let's just go down to the root cellar and see that now. Here's our root cellar. In the previous video, we installed the root cellar ventilation system. That is the hot air outlet. And this is the cold air inlet that comes in here and drops down where there's cold air flowing in. Let's measure the temperature of the room and uh, the temperature of the air coming in. First of all, this is what it is in here. This says 60% humidity, and I don't know if you could read that, but that on, I don't know if I can read it, geez. It's about 40 degrees here. So we also have a digital th thermometer to compare, and indeed 40 degrees. So that's the hot out there. We know that it's 40 degrees in here. Okay, so we have, it's about five, seven, eight degrees coming in there. Remember it's, uh, it's two degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. So that's about four degrees difference from the outside. Um, but so you can see cold air is actually coming in here. This is insulated. That's even insulated glass. We had an extra piece of glass. We used it for this, for the door. Here's the air intake. Let's measure that. Again, that comes down from outside and it's supposed to dump the cold air down at the bottom. Let's give it a measure. Let's see what's happening. So that's about the same, right? Seven, eight degrees coming in. If you measure the wall next to it, we're at 30, 31. Let's go up the wall. 32, 33, there. So you can see there's a temperature differential. Let's give it, let's say five degrees. You could use that stratification of temperature uh, to, to store things at different shelf heights, for example. Again, we're not that system yet, but we want to be the system that we want to see in the world. Conclusions, um, cold air is definitely coming into here. Our ventilation is it's in progress. We're observing, um, you know, how it's functioning. It, it's keeping the potatoes. It's late January. It's almost February now. We have red potatoes. If we look in here um, and inspect one, you'll see that we've got some roots coming up um so yeah you got some roots coming out they're softening up a tiny bit so it's almost february and i, I have these almost every day <laughs> i love potatoes um and you can see they're rooting um but keep them out of the light and this is its own little microclimate in here um i bet you it's a little warmer because of the straw gives it an insulating effect if we look at our superior potatoes these guys look at those like they're solid that's firm I, I know you can't feel it but i can um and so no roots coming out of these yet superior and then we have here we have fingerlings um oh well that's the massive yukon gold i did a uh, a video with this guy wait remember this oh my god yes bigger than a fist Um, so I've just been saving him because he's special. I, I, I have a name for him, but I can't say it. Um, all right, and then we also have uh, fingerlings. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah, yellow fingerlings. Look at that. Here's the deal with fingerlings. They're very firm. They're very solid, kind of fibrous. Great roasting potato, whole chicken, potatoes, beets, carrots, you know, um, sweet potatoes. But these guys go really good in that. But they're really good keepers. And, and if you think paleo, this is kind of a paleo potato. This is what they originally looked like down in South America, where they were cultivated by the Incas, I believe. Um, and we have these big fat potatoes today. Like this guy is a hybrid of, you know, thousands of years of hybridization, especially hundreds. <laughs> All 
I would say that our root cellar is a success. Is it a spectacular success? No, it's our first year. Um, you know, we have supermarket stuff that we still haven't replaced yet. We want to replace everything and close all the energy loops on this farm. Eventually, that is the goal. Um, but we're not there yet. But we came in one year, we came so far in that direction where we're eating most of the stuff we eat is ours from, from the farm. We're definitely on the way. We could definitely see that it, it's doable. Even with two 50 year old, my wife's younger by five years. Okay, so I'm averaging our age. She hates when I do that. A root cellar will do that. It gives you storage. It's the supermarket, we call it. We just come down here. Um, we have meat and we have, look at that. We've got supermarket butter, some other supermarket products. And, but mostly that's pig from a farm. That's cow from a farm. And that's our chickens from the summertime. There they are. Hi, girls and boys. How you doing? That was a fun summer, wasn't it? And then over here we have a veggie freezer. And that's vegetables from the summer that we've stored. All kinds of processed thing. We're emergency set up, you know, um, but we're just regular day, happy kind of go down and get some potatoes and some, you know, whatever you need. <laughs> This is what's happened recently. What we did is this maple wall. So now we have bookshelves. And that's all maple cabinetry that we did ourselves, of course. Um, and it still needs the trim on the outside. We'll get to that later, but we're able to actually put up like a trinket and have books that have been in boxes for three years. And we made little window seats. They're not finished. They need to be trimmed. Uh, of course, your obligatory plants by the window. So this is like so last week, this bookshelf. This week is the shiplap, look at that, boom. So this is only one coat of paint and it's not painted yet. Like I just put this trim all that up last night. This will be blue tile, just like that blue tile. Exactly the same, we'll have it right here in this whole area. You see that trimmed out area, has the backer board on there, it's ready to go. So we have all these kind of unique windows we put in. So they are all, for the most part, framed out. Um, and you can see there's a lot of custom framing going on in there. Believe me, a lot of behind the scenes stuff just to get it to look this nice. Um, that's like spider poo or something. It's weird, they, they have this spot and then they poo. I don't know, I gotta clean that off, obviously. And this is the veggie center. It has begun. We got our veggie sink in. Anyway, this is just some quick updates. We'll do a more formal video on the ship lap. Those seats are very nice. He likes midnight, prefers the, my body, prefers the, the couch. All right, he's having his issues there. We'll leave him alone. But it's so nice to sit here, come here, you know, pick up the binoculars, spy on your neighbors a little. Let's see what they're doing here. footage but we will this year we've got chickens we're gonna get turkeys we're putting in our vineyard this spring thank you so much for uh, clicking on this video and watching if you like these kind of uh, videos and you want to follow our adventure please hit the subscribe button below and if you like the video like it and if you have any comments please comments I answer all comments <laughs>